Hello guys and welcome to another video. This is Yagura's Moments and today I'm gonna show you how you can connect your Xbox wireless controller with your PC with the Xbox wireless adapter. In the previous video we talked about the Bluetooth method and this is the way how I'm using my connection, my controller with the, via Bluetooth and it works actually perfectly fine for me. But there is some people that are complaining about this connection problems with their controller via Bluetooth. So maybe if you have an issue like that, maybe wireless adapter is the way to go. With the Xbox wireless adapter, you can connect also up to eight controllers and play co-op with your friends. That's amazing. You can also connect and use your headset by connecting it straight to the controller in the headphone jack. And you can use the Xbox application to adjust all the settings. The Xbox wireless adapter is that, that small stick here which allows you to connect your Xbox controller with your PC wirelessly. It's just this small stick here. So let's jump to the PC and I'm going to show you how you can connect your Xbox controller with the Xbox wireless adapter. And I'm going to show you how you can also update the drivers, something that don't, doesn't happen automatically, unfortunately, and some people have issue with that. So let's jump to the PC. So you need to go to the microsoft.com to the Xbox accessories, click get and it will take you to the Microsoft Store. And there you will click install and it will start the downloading. Once it is ready, click launch and connect your controller with your PC by using USB-C cable to set up the device and install the updates. Okay, just for you to know, the USB-C cable is not coming with the controller, so make sure to have one so you can update your controller. Here on my case, I'm using the USB-C cable from my phone, this cable I'm using to charge my phone, so it worked perfectly fine with the controller so I can update my controller. At the end, any USB-C cable will work. When everything is done, take off the cable and connect the wireless adapter. When you put the wireless adapter, a small message pop-ups for setting up the device. When it is disappears, I try to open the controller and connect it, but nothing seems to work. After a short research, I understand that we need to update the drivers. So I'm gonna show you how to fix that because it doesn't say anything in the manual. First, we need to go to the device manager and click on the other devices on the Xbox ACC and update the drivers. You can search automatically for drivers, but it cannot find anything, so I need to click uh, search for updates on Windows Update. You can open the Windows Update here. Uh, and here you need to click View Optional up because if you do it automatically, you will not find anything. So you click on Drivers and Updates. And here you can see that you have the last one, it's Xbox Net. So let's click Download and Install. And hopefully this is gonna fix it. Let's see. After updating, it will start setting up the USB device. And when it's done, just click the wireless button on your controller and you will be connected with your PC through the wireless adapter. I tried playing the same games and also tested the ranged again and everything worked perfect. From now on, every time you open your controller, it will connect automatically with the Xbox wireless adapter. And in case it's not connecting, just click the pair button on both devices. In the next video, we're gonna talk about which connection is better, Bluetooth or wireless adapter. So let me know what you think, or if you have any other question, let me know in the comment section below. And that's the video, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this. And we're gonna see you in the next one.